In the world of the modern housewife, baking is much less a chore than it used to be. And one of the main reasons is the development of packaged mixes. Mixes which provide an almost endless variety of easily made baked goods. Easy? Well, yes, for the housewife. But let's look at this cake. Behind it is a complex story of research, manufacturing know-how, and formulating skill. Hidden among the ingredients of the cake being made here is something called a leavening agent, which makes certain that a cake will rise perfectly each time and every time. The behind-the-scenes story of how the leavening agent works in this cake is a story of chemistry. Chemistry which has been put to use to make life more convenient for the housewife. This housewife, for instance. While her cake is rising in the oven, we'll follow her on a tour of the seldom seen places which make possible the convenience of the modern cake mix. Our story begins in the laboratory, that mysterious world of test tubes, Bunsen burners, and other assorted gadgetry. It is the work here which has developed specialized leavening agents and is continually improving these products. The basic chemical reaction involved is the combination of an acid and a base to produce bubbles. These bubbles puff up the cake and make it rise. By chemically altering the leavening agent, the dough can be made to rise slowly or quickly or only when heat is added. Leavening agents are produced from food grade phosphoric acid in plants like this one where the chemical principles developed in the laboratory are applied on a large scale. The phosphoric acid arrives at the plant in tank trucks and is pumped into large storage containers. Then, a process of drying, mixing, and blending takes place. as close watch is maintained over delicate monitoring equipment to make certain everything is proceeding according to plan. The leavening agents are screened and separated into various grades to meet the specifications of individual mixes. At this point, the leavening agent is a fine white powder which is kept in sealed bins until it is ready for shipment. Sometimes entire railroad cars are filled with a leavening agent for shipment over long distances to large users. But the most usual method of shipment is in sealed bags, loaded and weighed at the plant where the leavening agent is manufactured. These bags are low trucks for shipment to mills, where they arrive at a formulating plant where the actual cake mix will be made and packaged. In this room, the leavening agent is combined with better known ingredients, flour, eggs, milk, flavorings, and so on. Each ingredient is carefully weighed. Here, the separate parts are tumbles to assure proper blending. As the flour is conveyed through gleaming pipes and complex machinery, the ingredients are sifted, mixed, sifted, and mixed again. It takes care and skill for a cake mix to be properly formulated, and the ingredients travel through many processes before they reach the area where the mix is packaged in bags for commercial bakers or boxes for the home kitchen. Conveyor belts complete the operation and take the finished products to the loading dock area and eventually the housewife. To make certain that the mix will perform properly when she finds it on her grocer's shelf, the formulating plant continually tests its products in specially equipped laboratories where baking conditions in the housewife's kitchen are duplicated. And that's why, back at home, out from the oven comes a perfect cake. But what else would you expect with all the experience, talent, and work which has gone into the production of the mix? Leavening agents, one of the miracles of modern chemistry at work in the kitchen, making life a little easier for the housewife, and making that special birthday cake the special creation it's supposed to be.